On May 12, 1692, the magistrates went to Salem prison and questioned Mary Warren about signing the devil's book. Mary said that an pudiator's specter said she had poisoned her own husband and nearly killed John Turner by causing him to fall off a cherry tree. Mary then said Goody Pudiator killed James Cloy's child. The magistrates issued an arrest warrant for Anne. On June 1, George Jacob's servant Sarah Churchwell confessed to the magistrates that Goody Pudiator brought the book to her, and she did sign it. On July 2, 1692, and Pudiator was brought in for examination before the magistrates. Sarah Churchwell, have you charged and Pudiator with bringing the book to you? Yes. Have you seen her since? No. Good wife Pudiator, you have formerly been complained of, and we now further inquire. Here is one person who saith you brought her the book. Look at her. As and looked, Sarah said, you did bring me the book. I was at Goodman Jacob's house. I never saw the woman before now. This maid charged you with bringing her the book at the last examination. I never saw the devil's book nor knew that he had one. Jeremiah Neal, what can you say of this woman? She is an ill-carriaged woman. Since my wife has been sick of smallpox this woman has come to my house pretending kindness, and I was glad to see it. She asked if she might use our mortar, which was used for my wife, and I consented to it. I repented afterward, for the nurse told me my wife was worse since. She was very ill of flux, which she had not before. Good wife Pudiator, what did you do with the ointment that you had in your house? I never had ointment, but needs foot oil in my house since my husband died. Joseph Neal said. She had near twenty that had ointment or grease in them. I never had any ointment, but needs foot oil in the house. But what was in these things that Joseph speaks of? It was grease to make soap. But why did you put them in so many things when one would have held all? Joseph said. The ointments were of several sorts. John Best Sr. testified that some years last past, he often heard his wife say that an pudiator would not let her alone until she had killed her. She said and would pinch her arms and other parts of her body till they looked black. His wife affirmed that it was an pudiator that did afflict her and stood in the belief of it as long as she lived. John Best Jr. testified that his mother did several times in her sickness complain of an pudiator of Salem. The wife of Jacob Pudiator. He said and had bewitched her and that she did believe she would kill her before she was done. She said this several times during her sickness until her death. On September 15, an pudiator sent a petition on her behalf to the magistrates. I humbly beg of your honors to take it into your consideration that my life may not be taken away by such false evidence. I am altogether ignorant of and know nothing in the least measure about it nor nothing else concerning the crime of witchcraft for which I am condemned to die. On September 22, 1692, an pudiator was brought from jail to Proctor's Ledge to be hanged. This video was produced by 1692 Before and After In memory of those falsely accused and persecuted during the Salem Witch Trials. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. For more information about the Salem Witch Trials, visit 1692beforeandafter.com